Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here at Apple Creek Amish Goods in Willard, Utah. We understand that they have the best sandwich in Utah, and they also have frog jam, traffic jam, and all kinds of pickled goods like pickles, pig's feet. Come on in and let's check out this unique place right here in Willard, Utah on your long way home. Tell us a little bit about the store. It's so unique. How did you get into Amish goods? Okay. Uh, well, I live in Montana, and so I grew up around Amish up there. There's a community that's been there for about 30 years. I also grew up in the regular grocery store business. My grandpa had a small store. My dad still has a store. My Amish neighbor actually ended up being kind of competitors with my dad's store in this little tiny town, but we absolutely loved the stuff that he was bringing in. I went on a vacation with him and his wife and me and my wife and back east and checked out all these Amish stores back there and we thought, love it, let's do it. It's like a whole different planet um, because the Amish food and the Amish goods are just so different. Uh, what kind of clientele do you get in the store? Uh, we get people that are looking for kind of like an old-fashioned type stuff, so uh, people that like a good value. but. Uh, also uniqueness, things they can't find other places. Um, a lot of jar goods, people really like that um, it tastes like their grandma used to make, you know, pickled eggs, pickled beets. We're getting kind of lazy these days and not canning their jarring as much and a lot of that they really appreciate. It's really fun because you have a little store here where you can order a sandwich and get some samples too. So it's a great opportunity to come out on a date or with your buddies and to check out some good old fashioned Amish goods. Yeah, it is. You know, we were hesitant to get too much into the sandwiches and kind of even create that space because we were tight on space to begin with for people to sit down. But we're really glad we did. People really enjoy it. They come and make kind of a, a destination stop out of it. So I am ordering the sandwich of all sandwich. Amish cheese, Amish meat, called Lebanon bologna. It's spelled Lebanon, but it's pronounced Lebanon. So we're gonna give this a go and taste a real Amish sandwich. Tell us what you're doing, do you mind? All right, so we're pulling out the sourdough bread. All right, and this bread comes from? From Old Gristmill. Old Gristmill, okay, so it's bona fide bread, right? Yeah. Okay. So where else in the world can you find hop and frog jam? That's fig, raspberry, orange, and ginger. Tell us about some unique jams that you have. Well, of course, the frog jam. And then there's hop and frog, if you like a little jalapeno in it. Gooseberry jam, um, the blue goose, and uh, that's a mixture of blueberry, gooseberry. Traffic jam's another big one, and that's just called traffic because it has a, a ton of berries in it. Christmas jam, uh, of course, has cranberry, and you can't have Christmas jam without cranberry. A lot of gr different grape jams, so muscadine and a couple others. Yeah, there's a lot of them. I lived in Pennsylvania for a while, and you can't find Lebanon bologna. You can't find frog jam anywhere else but here. That's right. What, how do people react to these unique things? Most are surprised if they've never tried it. You know, they, they just didn't know it even existed. Uh, and most like it. And that's kind of interesting, I think, for like Lebanon and sweet Lebanon bologna that you try it, you like it. Um, people that grew up with it, absolutely, uh, they're beside themselves. Uh, I've had people hug me, kiss me, uh, cry, <laughs> you know. Our, our second day open, we had someone drive all the way from Las Vegas. He showed up our second day and said, my son uh, told me that you had Lebanon bologna, so I had to drive up to see it. <laughs> and what kind of cheese you have there? The Havarti dill. It's a really soft cheese. And, and I have no idea what that's so good. Are you sure they don't put other stuff in that to make it so good? Uh, love. Love. There you go, Holly Love. Love and the cheese. Oh. In Ohio, there's this famous cheese factory. <laughs> Heine's Cheese, right? Yes, yes. People come from all over in Ohio, and you just happen to have some Heine's 
cheese in the back. How do people react to the Heinie's cheese? Uh, they love seeing it. They love the varieties that are in there. Um, you know, there's a, a lot of competition for cheese back east. Um, the average person eats like three times the amount of cheese the, in the eastern United States as we do out here in the west. People actually notice a difference and they say that it kind of ruins it for them coming in here and now they can't buy cheese other places because they know what good cheese tastes like. Okay, now what's special about that Lebanon bologna? It's super popular. Super popular because you, you can only get it in Lebanon County, Pennsylvania, and right here in Willard, Utah, or Provo, where your other store is, right? Yeah. That's it. So if you're from Utah, check out the Lebanon bologna. Talk to us about the rolled butter. Yeah, so it's uh, there's different grades of milk or cream that go into making butter, and so this is kind of like the, the higher end stuff that they make it out of. And the Amish, uh, the way that they would make it, that's how they do it. My name is Phil Douglas. I'm with the Utah Division of Wildlife Resources, and occasionally I come by this area, and when it's lunchtime, a late lunch like it is today, I stop by for some uh, great birch bark root beer. That's a holy grail of drinks, <laughs> right? And you can't get that around here at all, right? Yeah. That's so dope. what does what birch beer taste like? I get that question all the time, and it's kind of like explaining what sarsaparilla, you know, tastes like. So we just say it's similar to root beer, but it's a little different. Um, most would probably say it's maybe a little sweeter than root beer. But I've heard some people say that it isn't quite as sweet. I guess it depends on the variety of root beer that you're used to drinking. So I'm getting ready to open this little package of happiness here. And again, this is the grilled Lebanon bologna with uh, Heine's uh, dill cheese. And we're gonna give this a go. But uh, look at that cheese and then this, this grilled Lebanon bologna. Uh, now that, my friends, is a little slice of heaven. Mm. Just no taste like that anywhere. Well, support a local guy with some things that you've never had before. Everything from birch beer and frog jam to Lebanon bologna. This is the place to check it out on your long way home.